Hello there, my zealots. It's Joshua coming at you today. Hi, how you doing? So, uh, my good friend Aaron online asks me a question. He says, oh, let, me, let me look it up here. Um, he asked, um, what, oh, that's what it was. What are the three most, what was it? I'm gonna, um, what are the, what do you think are the three biggest problems plaguing most Christian churches? That's a really good question. So I'm going to answer it in this video. The three major problems that are plaguing most Christian churches. And I would say that these are, this kind of it goes parallel to what I think is the most important things that we need to be teaching is that they lack these three major teachings. Every church I have ever found lacks, well, except for the last one, the first two, every church I've ever found lacks it. And very few actually teach on the third. It's very, very few. Okay. So the first one, is that you have to believe what the unforgivable sin is. You have to know what the unforgivable sin is. That is the most important thing in mo every church I've ever seen ignores it. The most important thing is teaching what the unforgivable sin is. And what is the unforgivable sin? Is that you have to believe every word of God and when you are off scripture, you must repent of it. To say that scripture does not apply to you is the unforgivable sin. Don't let people say that the scriptures does not apply to you. That is unforgivable. And if you do not know that, you're going to end up in a lake of fire and that's bad. You don't want to do that. That's really, really bad. Second thing, uh, the most important, uh, like the second most important thing, and it goes in this order for a reason. I'll get to that at the end. The second most important thing is biblical canon. Knowing what is the word of God and what isn't the word of God. Because if you know what is and is not the word of God, then it's very easy to follow rule number one. Once you know what you have to believe every word of God, then you know, need to know what the word of God is so you can believe it. Because <laughs> if you add unto the word of God, the, word, the, the plagues that are written within the book shall be added unto you. And nobody wants to have the plagues added unto them. So there are plagues in the book that you don't want. And so don't do it. Don't go into it. All right. So first one is make sure you teach what the unforgivable sin is. If you don't, that's, that's unconscionable. Second thing is... You have to teach what the uh, books of the Bible are that are actually books of the Bible, not what the traditional canon is, because that's wrong. It's just wrong. You have to know how to discern what canon is. Canon is discerned by, uh, if Jesus Christ quoted it, it's in the old, that's the Old Testament. If it follows the prophecy of the Zemach, those are the Gospels. And if it is written by either the right or left hand anointed, it is considered canon. Second, the third thing is, and the third thing is you have to, once you get those two down, then the third thing is to say that you do not teach that Jesus Christ is God. If you teach that Jesus Christ is God, you are teaching people to commit idolatry and they are praying to Jesus instead of God. And that's going to lead them completely astray. And they're going to end up, he's like, why callest me thou Lord and do not the things which I say unto you? And Jesus Christ told us to pray to the Father. He says, pray like this, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah, so pray to the Father. These are the most important things. Now, why do we want to do them in that order? If you start with the, uh, if you start with the unforgivable sin, that unforgivable sin teaches them that they have to believe everything in the scriptures. Everything. Okay, that's good because now they cannot take away from the word of God. All right. And if you teach them the second thing, which is what the biblical prophecies are, what the what the actual biblical canon is, then they can take away the stuff that is not of God. And now they're stuck with the true word of God. See, the first two, the first two ex tell you exactly what the word of God is and how important it is. This solidifies your foundation. Once you have this foundation, talking about Jesus Christ not being God, a lot of the verses that support Trinitarianism are gone now. Like the vast majority of them are just poof, be gone. Now, I've spent decades, and you can defend with those books intact. That's fine, because they're easy to misinterpret. But with those books gone, it just makes life way easier. Oh my gosh. You can just say, no, that's not a book of the Bible. <laughs> Instead, I mean, but there are defenses and I've used them and I know every single one of them. But the point is, is that you can just ignore that and just say, you know what? That, that, that is not valid because it is not following one of the prophecies of the Semach. Okay. Most of those come out of John and John is not, a pro is not a book of the Bible or they come out of Timothy or Titus and those are not written by Paul. I mean, you're like... I don't have to listen to those because they're not part of biblical canon. 
Okay, they're, they're not prophesied by God. They're not fulfilling one of God's promises. Anyway, those are the three most important teachings that every church out there is missing. There are a few that teach that Jesus Christ is not God, like Jehovah's Witnesses, but they're way off on a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, uh, there's also the, um, what are they called? The uh, Christadelphians, I believe, also don't believe that Jesus Christ is God, but there are very few of them. Um, the Way Ministry also does not believe that Jesus Christ is God, but they also don't believe in the Old Testament. Um, yeah, there's very few. There's a couple, but there's not very many. Anyway, but yeah, so that's that's what you need to do. Believe what the word of God. You have to know what the unforgivable sin is. Do not do not uh, take away from the words that are written in the book of prophecy, and do not add to the. See, the first two get you to not add to or subtract from the word of God. They're like, do not add to or subtract from. Do not subtract from or add to. And once you get those two down, then it's really easy to to show that Jesus Christ is not God. Anyway. I'm Joshua. You guys have a blessed day. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Take it easy. Bye-bye.